stop fucking around. How much, how often do you tell yourself to stop dicking around? Uh, I need to do this. I need to do that. I got to stop doing this. I got to stop doing that. Blah, 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 blah. We do it all the time. I was doing it earlier this afternoon. I had some work to do and I didn't want to do it. And I was just messing around doing things that were not going to contribute to the good outcome of my life. Nothing too crazy. What are you messing around about? Or what are some of the main times and periods in your life where you do mess around? It could be a big thing. It could be a small thing. Who knows? Doesn't matter. What we're trying to learn about today in today's reading is how do we bring more attention to these moments and how do we align ourselves back to our morals and ethicals and principles of behavior that we're trying to strive towards because we know they matter. We know they represent the life we want to be living. And we just know they're the right thing to do. My name is Mike. This is the Start to Lead channel where we help increase your capacity for resilience and well-being. I hope you find this helpful. So it is July 8th, reading from The Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday. Stop monkeying around. Enough of this miserable, whining life. Stop monkeying around. Why are you troubled? What's new here? What's so confounding? The one responsible. Take a good look. Or just the matter itself. Then look at that. There's nothing, there's nothing else to look at. And as far as the gods go, by now you could try being more straightforward and kind. It's the same, whether you've examined these things for a hundred years or only three. Marcus Aurelius Meditations 9.37. Just a quick little note there. Remember, these Marcus's meditations are notes to himself. So he's talking to himself there. Okay, to the reading. Character. Joan Didion would write in one of her best essays, The willingness to accept responsibility for one's own life is the source from which self-respect springs. Marcus is urging us not to waste time complaining about what we haven't got or how things have worked out. We have to quit monkeying around and be the owners of our own lives. Character can be developed, and when it is, self-respect will ensue. But that means starting and getting serious about it. Not later. Not after certain questions have been answered or distractions dealt with. But now. Right now. Taking responsibility is the first step. To be without this character is the worst of all fates. As Didion put it in On Self-Respect. To live without self-respect is to lie awake some night beyond the reach of warm milk the phenobarbital, and the sleeping hand on the coverlet, counting up the sins of commission and omission, the trusts betrayed, the promises subtly broken, the gifts irrevocably wasted through sloth or cowardice or carelessness. You're so much better than that. Stop monkeying around. Well, once again, we are reminded of the directness of this Stoic perspective, which is analogous to many other forms of wisdom. I will repeat that often. One thing I really want to zoom in here a little bit is this idea of self-respect. And there's one line I love here. Responsibility for one's own life is the source from which self-respect springs. Beautiful. Oftentimes, when we are upset with ourselves or when we have a low sense of confidence or uh, self-esteem, I don't like that word, but um, it's because we're not living up to who we know we can be. We say one thing, we do the other. We make a commitment, we back out of it. Fucking fill ourselves with ideas of grandiosity and fantasies of progress and growth and all this stuff, but yet we never take the steps in that direction. I think a practice for today is to just slow down. How can you bring into alignment 
what you say you're going to do and what you actually do. What is an area of your life where you're not taking responsibility? Or is there a space for more responsibility? And can you bring attention to how that will help you develop more self-respect, a little bit more dignity, a little bit more fulfillment even, if you will. Let's return a little bit to, to the end of the reading here. So he quotes Didion, who's sort of saying, you can't sleep at night, be, and regardless of the sleeping aids, some of those words I had never heard before I looked them up, okay, sleeping aids, will not help you sleep because your soul, your spirit, your moral, ethical character knows you have a whole bunch of sins of commission and omission of betraying trusts, of breaking promises, of not meeting your potential through laziness. She uses the word sloth, cowardice, or carelessness. All of this is a call to be more than you are, a call to adventure, a call to be more dignified in your actions. And that's a tricky thing to do, although it's possible. To me, even Beyond this idea of responsibility, there must be honesty. We must be honest with ourselves. Then that honesty can lead into being more responsible for our actions and towards other people. So are you betraying trust? Are you omitting or committing acts of wrong speech, to use the Buddhist analogy? How are you acting and what are the things you're doing that you know are eating away at your soul, your self-respect, your character, your dignity. Write those things down. On the other side of the column, this is going to be our little daily practice added to these readings. Reading, write down things you can do about those problems. There's a lovely saying, not what, but who, or not even how, but who. Sometimes we really need help and guidance and teaching from other people. Rather than how or what you're going to do differently, is there someone in your life that you can go to or that can help guide you to change these behaviors? Stop monkeying around. Get to fucking work. Okay, I'm going to shut up. I hope you found that helpful. Please like this video, comment on it, share it, subscribe to this channel consider supporting it on Patreon. And that's about it. Without further ado, this is July 8th. Stop monkeying around from the Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday. Take it easy. Peace out. I am very grateful that you watched to the end of this video. Please click one of the boxes to watch more of our content and otherwise have a great day. Peace out. <laughs>